Lord, we have come again this evening. You will speak to us in a language we will understand. That at the end, Father, we will sign out on this program with great joy and happiness. Thank you for all those that are already connected. Thank you for those that will still connect. Thank you for those that will still listen to the message often and often. Lord, I pray that the eyes of understanding will be enlightened. That at the end, we will have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For you be that glorified in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. I believe the people on Facebook check now if there is volume. I believe there is a volume now. I believe there is a volume. Please, if there is volume, just let me know there is a volume. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, fathers and their mothers, good evening to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have come to the program of Ask Your Question this evening. Asking, of, asking question is a different program again of the Lord. And I want to tell you that this evening, the Lord of heaven will do you and I good that at the end of this evening, we have the cause to rejoice. Yes. Uh, we are going to go straight to the question. If you have a question, the people that are connected, you are free to call us. You have any question there with you? You are free to call. Let it not be when we are about to close. None that you are online, endeavor to bring out your question on time so that we can able to attend it, attend to them before, before the time. But when we are about to close, the question is coming. It will not uh, help us. It is very, very important. None that uh, is very early. If you have your question, you bring it out so that your question can be attended to. But we are having a question that we need to respond. What is the question? The question say, a uh, question, how can I have encounter with God? How can I have encounter with God? How can I have encounter with God? It's a question that uh, we need to answer. If you are there on Facebook, you have the answer. Please, you can notify us. How can I have Encounter, how can I encounter Christ? How can I encounter Christ? How can someone encounter Christ? And I believe that there are many we, there are many answers, there are many things about that. If you have the answer, please, you are free to call the number you are seeing on the, on the Facebook. There are numbers there you are seeing you are free to call the number so that we can able to, uh, you can able to, uh, to contribute to the question. If you have, any, if you have uh, the answer, you are free to call. You are free to send your answer. How can I have encounter with God? Having encounter with God, what, what does it really mean? But how can I have the encounter with God? I don't know the people on the the people on the Facebook on the WhatsApp uh, Zoom if they have answer to that question. How can I have encounter with God? Anybody that want to answer the question? How can I have encounter with God?
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think, um, first of all, we, first of all, you have to- Your voice is low. We are not hearing you, please. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. First of all, you have to be born again. That's the first step because you can't, you want to have a counter with somebody you don't, um, you don't know. There are many encounters, like maybe people, God, somebody have an encounter with God. That is, you know, if God decides to have an encounter, maybe it's just for his divine purpose. Like maybe people encounter God, like the story, the some testimonies we've heard from, um, for example, from uh, Muslim people from some Muslims and for some people that don't believe that there is God and all of that, God will, you know, show himself to them that there is still, there is God. But this person that really wants to know God or that wants to have an encounter with God, in what purpose? First of all, it is you being born again. When you become born again, then you get to know God more better by studying your word because in the according to the book of John, John chapter 14, verse, um, <clears throat> verse 21. I, uh, let me open. John chapter 14, verse 21. He said, he that had my, com that had my commandment and keep them, he is he that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall beloved of my father and i will love him i will manifest here yeah, that's the point i will manifest the, the the last phrase there he said and i will manifest myself to him i will manifest myself to, in other words if you draw near to god he will draw near to you because you cannot expect to have an encounter with somebody you don't know you don't recognize you don't obey you don't take out time to to really know about him. So if you really desire to have an encounter with him, you first of all become a born again and you know spending time, quality time with him, then he will begin to manifest himself great, greatly and mightily to you. So that's my little contribution. God bless you. And I want to when we talk of uh, we have had the um, the contribution of our sister um about uh, having an encounter with god but i want to tell us that uh, um your testimony of having of being a, a christian can be it a, uh, can be an answer to this uh, matter your testimony of how you became born again i believe that before you come to christ you had an encounter just like um, we can uh, go to the Bible to see. Let's look at a place in the Bible. A woman, before I will give you the short story about my life. Because of uh, when we are teaching, we teach on practical and the theory. And um, when we really look into the Bible, you find out that uh, let's look at the book of uh, John. Let's turn to the book of John, chapter 14. Sorry, John 4. Let's see a woman who had an encounter with Christ. What really happened? John, chapter 4. Let's take it from verse, uh, from verse 7. And let us read uh, down to verse uh, 26. John chapter four. Are we there? Something happened there. Are we there? John chapter four verse. Let's take it from verse uh, seven. Other people, okay. are you? Are we not with our Bible? Go I'm ahead. In Jesus' name. Amen. From verse seven. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water 
Jesus said, unto, Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samar Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who is he that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Then the sorry, verse 11, the woman said unto him, Sir, thou had nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou has thou that li has thou that living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself, and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall taste again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I will give him shall ne shall never taste shall never taste. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I taste not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said. I have no husband, for thou hast, for thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now has is not thy husband. In that said, in that says thou truly. Then the woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our father worship in this mountain, and I see as, and yes, say that. In Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye, ye worship, sorry, ye worship ye knew, know not what. We know, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Then the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is come, which is called Christ. And when he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I thank, oh, sorry, I that speaketh unto thee am he. God bless you. You see what happened there? God bless you. You see what happened there? This woman, she was not a, she was not a Christian when she had an encounter with Christ. And uh, before you can even be converted to become a Christian, you will have encounter with Christ. Be if you have convinced, is an encounter. What, why did I say so? Because if you don't believe on him, before you can believe on somebody, you must have, you must have something inside you telling you that this thing is true. Without that, you cannot able. If we check the case of this woman, we are still going back, God bless you, we are still going back to the book of uh, Art of Apostle to also see another case of a man. We saw that this woman, she had an encounter in the well where she came to draw water. Not, not even knowing Jesus. She have not even had the encounter. She have not even known Jesus before. Or to the time that uh, she had this encounter with Christ of talking about drawing water. 
And uh, when Jesus Christ opened her eyes, you could see that the woman ran to the village to go and begin to call people. Why? After she had had an encounter with Jesus. After she had knew now this is Jesus. After she had come to know that, yeah, this person that spoke with me is not any half person. This is Messiah. Because of the time, that's why I didn't, uh, we stopped there. And because of uh, the woman, eyes was open to see who is talking to her. That this person that is talking to you is a person that we have, that you people are be expecting that we come and save the whole world. When the eyes of after Jesus Christ analyzed them, analyzed to her about the person that is talking to her, the woman was convinced, yes, this is Messiah. That was why the woman ran into the, into, the, into the street and began to tell people, come and see that person we have been waiting for, Christ, Messiah, a man who have told me everything before anything in life, before you can come to Jesus, you must have an account. Our sister used all those other people Muslim people who are not uh, who are not even interested to know about Jesus, but by the moment they had an encounter or a revelation or anything, what happened? You will see then they carry Bible in their hand. Why? Because it was uh, it was Jesus that determined to what to for them to be safe. That is it. But today, we are seeing error in the world. Many people have no encounter with Christ. But they tell you that they have encounter. Some people are encountering demons. They tell you they have encounter with Jesus. Who is Jesus? If you ask them, how did it happen? Their testimony is not true. It's fake. You see them, they tell you they have encounter with Jesus. They went to the mountain. They don't know that the devil can also speak. You can encounter Satan, you will think that you have encountered God. If you are not careful. We saw the case, let's look at the case of, uh, let's, in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 9. Let's see something there, please. If, uh, if you are there, read there, please. Acts 9. Let us read from verse 1 to 16. Let us really talk about having a encounter with Jesus. And after that, I will now what I will now explain to you how I had a encounter time ago with Jesus. I will now share to you to tell you the real things of life. That many people today are in church. Uh, they have not, they have not uh, had a, can, a personal encounter with Jesus. But if you don't have a personal encounter with Christ, you cannot go where there is a need of having a personal encounter. I have experience. I've encountered him one on one. This is what, this is something that will help you for you to serve. Uh, in the area where you have called to serve. I don't know if you are there in Mark, in the heart of Apostle. Any other person there? If our sister, she's there. I'm, uh, I'm there. Okay. Verse okay. One to, from verse, take it from verse 1 to 16. Okay. And so, yet breathing out threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went out, went unto the high priest, and desire of him led her to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he saw, and as he sojourned, he, and as he sojourned, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth and had voice saying unto him, So, so, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? 
And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Is it, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him uh, stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hands and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did he did eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And Ananias, and to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed, and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias, Ananias answered, Lord, I had by any, uh, Lord, I had by many of these men how much evil he had done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he had authorities from the chief, from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go the way, for he, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. God bless you. Amen. You can see another example of someone who had an encounter with Jesus. A man that was having passion, was so passionate about to stop Christians. If somebody is killing Christian, going up and down, killing Christian, not, not, not uh, even the wicked people, killing Christian, that was his mission. Can you say that that person is a Christian? No. That person is not a Christian. Why was it? Why was so, uh, Paul? Why was he doing that? Because Paul did not have a counter. Paul was serving without what? Without having a counter. Or till the day that Paul had an encounter. After the encounter of Paul, we could see the life of Paul after this, after what happened here when Paul was going to Damascus to arrest the Christians and bring them back again to, to punish them. But all of a sudden, he had an encounter. You could see that the people that was following him, they were, they were hearing the voice, but they couldn't see the person that was talking. They did not see the person that was talking, but they was hearing the voice that somebody is talking but not knowing who is the person that is talking. Paul had a personal encounter. This is, this, this is a encounter that a Christ, Christian should have. When you have that genuine encounter with Christ, brothers and sisters, why you see some people today, they are rising and falling because they have not yet had a, a, a great encounter with Christ personally. When you have a encounter with Jesus one-on-one, -on -one, you will not be rising, you will not be falling. Temptation will come, but because of that encounter you receive, you know Apostle Paul. If Apostle Paul did not have a genuine encounter, Apostle Paul could have not been able to work to run on his ministry. Apostle Paul was having that great encounter. That is, that is what happened, that is what helped him to work to succeed in his ministry. What about, should we talk about uh, Jonah? You know Jonah? Jonah, 
had a great encounter also. A great encounter where, how did it happen? He had a great encounter in the belly of a fish. Who will not go there and read the book of Jonah? You can go and read Jonah chapter one, Jonah chapter two. You will see a time came Jonah, when Jonah was in the belly of the fish, Jonah was praying a prayer of repentance. That is where Jonah had an encounter. What about the book of Luke? When we go to the book of Luke again, Luke chapter 17, a man called Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus had a great encounter again. That is, you know, the, the, how wicked uh, Zacchaeus was that time. How Zacchaeus was collecting the people is a tax collector. He was charging people, collecting their money, collecting their money. But when, the, when Zacchaeus had an encounter, brothers and sisters, the life of Zacchaeus changed. Zacchaeus said, hey, the heart, the money, everything that I have, I divided the two and gave to the poor. If there is anybody here, I have collected anything for you, come, I pay you in four four. I pay you four times. That is an encounter. A wonderful encounter. That is a wonderful encounter. Yes. Friend, what about my life? Time ago, I was on my way. I was on my way to her. I was almost at the hair. When the time came in my life, when situation was there, I dropped the Bible. I said, no, I am not there. I, I will not. But until the day that the Lord allowed me to enter trouble. He allowed me to enter trouble. A trouble that will make me to make, a trouble that will turn me around and turn me back to where I supposed to be. But since I didn't know that of uh, allow where uh, that thing happen is going to bring goodies to the world. I wish Satan know Satan could have not even allow it to happen. Satan could have not used the people. But I can tell you when the thing happened, it was a film when it's somebody, a young man, since I was born, I have never had any case with police in my life. Telling you right now about the encounter I had with Jesus. I never, I never have any problem with police in my life. Until that particular day <laughs> that uh, I find myself, it was like a film. It was like a film to me. The next thing they put me inside prison. I say, wow. It was like a film to me. Until the particular hour. When I could, I cannot open gate. That is where I realized I'm inside prison. <laughs> that is where I realized I'm inside prison. Brothers and sisters, behold, as I realize I'm inside prison, the next thing, eh, tears run out of my, of my eyes. It, me being in prison, ah, it was a terrible matter. I cry and cry and cry and cry. Who am I crying to? Who is, who is the person telling me, oh, child, you have cried enough. It's okay. Everything is going to be okay. Nobody could tell me, hey, it's okay. What you? Sorry, don't cry. Nobody. I cry bitterly. Nobody was there. I tell you, after the cry and I fall asleep, you know, when a child cry, and nobody could, uh, nobody could tell a child, stop crying. And the child have cried and cried, he have tired. The next thing the child will sleep, will take over the child. That's how sleep took me. And uh, as I was sleeping, it just, I, I saw a mighty hand on my shoulder. A mighty hand. Mighty hand. That a mighty hand. Hearing the voice, clearing. He was telling me, son, stop crying. Is the oh, no wonder. Brother, let me sing a song for you before I continue. 
No need to cry. No need to cry. No need to worry. Worry cannot help. If no one cares, do not be worried. My God will not forget someone like you. No need to cry, brothers. No need to cry. No need to cry. No need to cry. If no one cares, do not be worried. My God will not forget someone like you. I tell you, he was telling me, stop crying. Petty me. Brothers and sisters, he told me, said, son, I allow this problem to happen to you. If this problem didn't happen to you, I will lose you. That's what he told me. He said, if this problem didn't happen to you, I will lose you. But I don't want to lose you. He gave me three reasons. He said, one, son, I like to happen to you because I want you to return back to me. He said, two, I like to happen to you because I want you to know about the woman you are about to marry. Because that was a time I was about to marry a wrong wife. He said, number three, I want you to know the friends around you. <clears throat> After that, let me say, son, stop crying. And it disappeared, and I wake up. That was a fantastic encounter I had with him. When I was on my way to her, not to talk of the other ones that are becoming, but this is a, a kusha of letting me know that I am missing rules. I should return back. <clears throat> What am I trying to say when we talk of uh, having a counter? How you can have a counter? You can have an encounter just as I, so I explained to you, I was on my way to her when I had an encounter. Many of you here being a Christian, I believe you have had an encounter with Christ, personal, having a personal encounter know him that is what is sustaining you on the journey but today many people they are having a counter with demons they say that they are having a counter with christ time ago somebody told me that christ asked him to leave the church where they are preaching holiness go to a church where they are dancing kokoma how is it possible you need to have the understanding that you can't say you have an encounter and that therefore the spirit of God will tell you to be telling lies. It's not possible. That is not an encounter. When you have an encounter with Christ, having an encounter with Christ will, and it will make you, it, can, it will make you to what to know him, know his, his standard. It will tell you what to do, just like Paul. This, 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 what I, what I received time ago is the one driving me to, to today. Because when God encounters you, what happened? Your life change. There is a need for us to have this understanding. There is a need of having a personal encounter. Why you see some people today, some people will just wake up and tell you, God told them to go and open ministry. You check those people whether they really have a, a genuine encounter. A rebellious person will tell you, somebody that rebel against the person that is having will tell you, God asked him to go and open church and more people will follow him. There is a need. Or be careful when we talk or when you hear people are saying, I have an encounter, I have an encounter. Check whether if it is true or not. Brothers and sisters, if you have not yet had an encounter, you can pray for it and tell the Lord, Lord, I want to have an encounter with you. 
Because when you have encounter with Christ, it will help you to continue your journey. There is a need of personal encounter. When you have this personal encounter, you will not jeopardize with your journey. When you are missing road instantly, the spirit will be reminding you. But if you are not careful, I tell you the truth, you can be swept away. But if somebody that has a genuine encounter, it's very hard for the person to be swept away. It's very, very important. If we can do this, really pray for having a personal encounter with him, I tell you, it will help you more and more in your journey. I pray that the Lord of heaven will help you. If you are out there, you have not yet had a encounter, I pray that Jesus Christ will encounter you, will show you mercy, just as he did to me, just as he did to that, that woman of Samaria, just as he did to that uh, uh, Apostle Paul. And I pray that he will also do you good of what? Of encountering you. So that you will be able to work, to move on proper in this journey. If you have encounter with God, your life cannot be the same. If you have encounter with God, eh, you will not be thinking of the things of this world. You have a genuine encounter with God. I'm telling you the truth. What you, what you are going to be doing in this world, what you can do to please God. When people are seeking of the things of this world, the thing will be, the thing will be, the thing will be, it will be rotating you. It, it will not, if somebody is talking for showing the things of this world, it's like somebody is nailing stone, knowing and nailing your heart. Because you will begin to imagine this person have not known what is ahead of the person. You could see the life of Apostle Paul. When Apostle Paul had an encounter, you check his life. How Apostle Paul go extra mind to extend that Apostle Paul did not marry. Why? Because of the ministry Apostle Paul received. He was focused. He didn't do a, 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 why he didn't marry because of distraction. Having it that he knows that there is assignment that be laid on him. You know that in that place, he was told that what is going to suffer for. And you know that Peter Apostle Paul was passing through pain. Peter Apostle Paul never, never murmured, never said, no, this pain is too much. Why will I be passing this pain? No. Why? Because of the encounter that Apostle Paul is seeing. I wish Apostle Paul did not have that encounter. If you check, many people that are even that follow Christ in the beginning, they didn't go, many of them didn't go the way Apostle Paul go. And many, many that the, the foundational apostles, many did not go the way Apostle Paul go. Beloved brothers and sisters, you can still be like that today. You can still have that encounter more than as never before. I tell you the truth. When you have that serious encounter, <laughs> you will be pursuing the property in heaven. You will be pursuing the mansion in heaven. You know that after Apostle Paul finished the whole thing, Apostle Paul have this mind. Now I have finished the course. I have finished the, the work. Is now waiting for me the camp of word of righteousness which my father will give me, not only me, also to those that still follow the journey. That is the someone that have the encounter that I have done with the work. Now I am now waiting to receive salary, friend. But today, many people have not worked, they want to receive salary. How is it possible? How is it possible? If you have an encounter with Christ, those things you call beauty of this world, you will not be after beauty, you will be after the beauty of Christ. That is what we are talking about. If you don't have a genuine encounter with Christ, you cannot, able to, you cannot live a holy life. If you don't have the personal encounter, you cannot live a holy life. 
you cannot say sin goodbye to sin. You can you cannot. This is how you and I are supposed to be pure. But if you are not, if, if you don't have encounter, you can't pursue it to be like that. There is a need of having a personal encounter. When you have a personal encounter, you will be crazy of how you can build your home in heaven. People are crazy about how they can be famous on this earth. Pastors are crazy how they can be the richest pastor in the world. But they are not richest in heaven. Why? Because those people, they have lost that encounter. Time ago, they were having an encounter, they had a encounter, but now they have lost the encounter. They don't remember that encounter anymore. When a genuine Christian, a genuine pastor, a genuine pastor that have a serious encounter cannot preach rubbish message, cannot begin to preach to entice people. It's not to worry whether I have 20 people or I have one person following him or her. What is he doing? He's dishing out the message because he knows the ministry he has received. He knows who have called him that he have not pursued them. That he didn't open ministry because he apostrated, or because he couldn't get a job, or because of a, or because everything had turned upside down. No, that he received a ministry. Maybe the person was a doctor or a engineer or architect, and now the Lord has called him, or the person have a PhD holder. He's a PhD holder. The Lord will say, "Now, nah, now your PhD, you need to drop it. Come and do my business, friend." When we talk of encounter. I was on my way, making my money. I told you, if you go to your Facebook, just start Lumen Planet Studio. I know how much million I invested on that company time ago. The day that I opened it, I said it before, a time uh, when I opened that company, it was on newspaper in Lagos. But a day came, the Lord said, close that company if you will follow me. But I never, I never feel that I lost million. Because I know the person who have what who has spoken to me. Friend, we need to have this understanding. There is a difference between someone that have a genuine encounter and the person that didn't have encounter. When you don't have encounter every day by day, they will be persuading you, serve the law, serve the law, serve the law. But when you have encounter, no, you don't wait for somebody to persuade you. You don't wait for somebody to persuade you to serve God. You don't wait for somebody to wake you to serve the God. You don't wait for somebody to push you before you give out the best of your life to God. Why? Because you have that encounter. I tell you why you see some people now, people are now walk, persuading people every day by day. Why? Because those people, they have not had an encounter. When you have a great encounter, brothers and sisters, what is making me too crazy today about this gospel? Not because of my pastor. He said, my pastor is telling me, son, go and do it. Neither because of my mother or because of my neighbor or because of my wife. Because I know the encounter I had with Jesus. That is what is making me to be crazy about what can I do to tie rope upon the whole world and join them and tie them to heaven. Because I know, should I tell you what happened in, 20, in 2013 when I was sleeping here I, and after I finished prayer in the midnight prayer that I had, I saw two angels enter my house, enter my city room and uh, I, I was, my body left me and I saw it and I had, I know what I encountered with, what I saw that when I returned back, if my sister, if I believe that she sleep, if not, I could, have, I could have wake her to go uh, for her to uh, to explain to you people. I was about to jump for testory building. I was about when I returned back. I was about to jump for banking because I didn't believe we are in the world. And I know what I encounter with that I I had it. I had it. I I, I saw something that made me to cry throughout that day. At the end, I found myself. By six at about something after six in the evening, I, after the whole thing, I couldn't I couldn't know where I was going. I don't even know. I was just like all your top of what I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I am. I cannot even see anybody. If you see me on the road, I cannot greet you. I cannot talk to you. 
brothers, because I saw something that about 95% having the mark of the beast, that the people that have the mark of the beast, if they catch the people that don't have the mark of the beast, they torture, they will torture them. Brothers and sisters, I was crying, asking God, Lord, why do you decide to perish the people you created like this? God re respond, he resp I heard a voice of I had a voice said, now nah, go there, son, go there. He do, and I the next thing I saw bank, he said, Go there and take the money. Do you think that the money can buy my kingdom? Eh? He began to talk with violence. He said, My kingdom belongs to those that do my work. He said, Go and tell your people I am coming soon. That's what he told me. Therefore, those are the things that is making me to be crazy. Those are the things that is making me to be crazy. What can I do to tie rope upon the wall? Brothers and sisters, when I, when I returned back, I, it was hot. I landed in hospital in the evening time. I left the house throughout the whole day. I didn't, I didn't eat anything. I didn't know where I'm going. But in time in the evening, I called my sister. I said, come and take me to church. I want to go to church. As I was about to enter church, I collapsed in the front of the church. That's where Abrams, Abrams took me to a hospital. I was there after three in the morning. Then when I wake up after three, the peace only drift for me. He began to question me what is happening. That my that nothing wrong with me, but my heart, my heart, something happened to my heart because of the shock that came on me. Friend. When you have a counter, that is a that is what make me when God gave me this project time ago when I got the jobs, job that will help me, job that will make me to live large in Europe, job that will enable me that if I want to ride Jeep, I will say Jeep today is a big Jeep I want to buy. But it was that encounter that moved me to say, no, you drop your work and I begin to pursue. So that is encounter. When you have a genuine encounter, you don't listen to what people are saying. When you have the encounter with Christ, brothers and sisters, I tell you, you can say everything you have to some God. You don't understand. You don't understand. It's only Mumu people that don't have encounter that will tell you, why will I want use my life, use my resources to serve God? Because they don't have encounter. They are blind. They are not there. They, they, are, they are under the influence of the devil. When you have, when a pastor had encounter with Christ, a pastor cannot be in altar, begin to preach practical messages. It's not possible. When a re, when a pastor had encounter, knowing that hell is waiting for him, if he make caricature with this, people. why pastors are what preaching rubbish, talking about money for showing now and collecting money for Yahoo, for prostitute, for all these people that are into drug business. Why is it so? Because those pastors, they don't have a counter. If they have a counter about her, my friend, I tell you, those pastors, we say, it's better to have 20 people in the church than to have 100. Because he knows the danger. Friend, there is a need to have a personal encounter. When you have a personal encounter, no, but no pastor can walk, can make caricature with your soul. No pastor can play with you because you have encounter. When pastor is talking, you will know whether this pastor is a thief or is a, or, or is a truth. Even when you hear them, they are talking about money, you will know that this person, whether he have the truth or is not, is just talking out of what is selfish interest. There is a need of having encounter. If you have encounter, oh my friend, should I tell you, it was that encounter that enabled me. I enter street and begin to preach four hours in the day. It was that encounter. When you have encounter, you will be crazy about Jesus. If you have encounter, I'm telling you the truth. You will empty your life to serve him. You will not begin to seek the comfort of your life. You'll be seeking for the comfort. What can I do to see so? That is a somebody that have a counter. That is a somebody that have an encounter. You know that you have a short time. A short time and there are a lot of work to be done. Oh my God. 
what are we talking about when we talk of a Christianity? Christianity, if you don't have the if you don't have a real encounter, my friend, you will tear this Bible, you will drop this Bible. Because the world is crazy. Pastors are crazy. Christians are crazy. Many pastors, not every pastor, not many Christians. Not many, not every Christian, but many Christians are crazy today about error. Why? Pastor, many pastors, about 90% of pastors are crazy about error. Why? Because of no encounter. Friend, oh, I tell you, don't allow anybody to what to play gamble with your life. There is a need of what encounter is about. If you don't have encounter, oh. Your Christianity, that is a very big question mark. When you have encounter, you don't joke with the Bible. When you have encounter, you don't play with this Bible. You don't join the people that say, I, 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 I take a New Testament, I don't take Old Testament. Oh, my friend, because you have not had encounter. That is why you are doing that. If you have encounter, you cannot. I stop there. <laughs> I stop there. If I begin, if I say, let's be talking about this encounter, brothers and sisters, it's wonderful when we really, when we really, when we are really willing to seek the Lord. The Lord is ready to encounter you. If only, if only you are really ready to know Him. There's something we need to know. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. I don't know if anybody on, on the anybody there you have a question on the one on the, the people on Zoom or the people on Facebook. If you are there, friends, let your brothers and sisters know how you can have an encounter. You can share the message. Let them know that those people that tell you they are in church, you see them, they tell you they are in church. They say somebody offend them, they leave the church. Why are they doing that? Because there is no encounter. But where they are walking, if somebody offended, they don't live there. Where the supermarket, where they are buying something, where somebody offend them, they don't live there. If their teeth offend them, bite their tongue, they don't use they don't use plier to remove the teeth. But somebody that tell you is a born again will tell you somebody offend them. Because of that, I leave the church for you people. Are you seeing that? But these are some, these are people that tell you they have encounter. Somebody that have encounter with Christ will tell you, I have a forgiveness spirit that my brother, my brother has sinned and gave me over my dead body for me to forgive this person. The person will tell you have a, you have encounter. Which encounter do you have with Christ? When you have encounter with Christ, you will not have the mind of Christ. You will not have the heart of Christ. You can't have encounter with Christ and you are still living a sin. It's not possible. When you have a encounter with Christ, and eh, every day by day, you are very careful of the life you are living. You are very careful of what is coming out of your mouth. You are very careful of what you are doing with your money. You are very careful of what you are doing with your body. You are very careful of how you deal with people. Why? Because of the encounter you have with Jesus. You now know that you are living a borrowed life. Your eyes will be open. You will see the emptiness of your life. If you have not seen the emptiness of your life, how can you say you have a encounter? How can you say you are a Christian when you have not seen the emptiness of your life? You have not seen the emptiness of this world. Apostle Paul see the emptiness of this world. Apostle Peter saw it. Apostle James saw it. All the Mary Mandali, they saw it. You know the Mary Mandali, you know the life of that woman? When that woman repented, that the woman that was possessed with demons, you know that that woman was the first woman that saw Jesus. Friend, after having a encounter, you need to what about Lydia? What about Eunice? All these are people in the Bible which you what you should take as an example. Not your pastor. Not your pastor. Have you not seen? Are you have you not seen that the geo that is on all over now? Now people are now people are people are saw so what somebody wrote to that say God. Friend. Have you not seen this? But these are people that tell you they have encounter. But they have the encounter, but 
they forgot that encounter. I pray that you will not forget the encounter. Beloved brothers and sisters, I believe that we have uh, we have come to the end of that matter. Have a personal encounter. If you have a personal encounter, you can't be crazy about the things of this world. You can't be crazy about being like what? How would I call it? You can. I, yesterday, I was seeing a pastor, a pastor wife. I begin to ask myself, this person is a pastor wife. How can? What are you saying, friend? If you have an encounter with Christ, Christ will tell you how you should dress. Christ will tell you how you should live. When we talk of having an encounter. Don't join the people that have a encounter with the demon. You can have a encounter with devil. You will think that you have an encounter with Christ. My friend, don't make that mistake. Don't make them that mistake of having an encounter with demon. You can't have an encounter with Christ. You will still conform to the world. It's not possible. You can't have an encounter with Christ. You still remain what? Remain with that old cargo. It's not possible. It's not possible. When you have a contact with Christ, things change. Things change. Sin goes, sin will die. You will tell yourself, I rather what? I rather begin to what? Begin to eat pasta than to begin to eat chicken. That is encounter. What make down there decided to tell the man that give be giving me vegetable. Because of the encounter, pit uh, uh, that they have God. Now that there is no food, there was a food that was given to uh, that was given to the king, the food that had been sacrificed to idol. But because of it, uh, uh, that they have encounter, then they said, "I can't eat this one." My friend, if you have encounter with Christ, you can't go to Kumu and begin to tell a lie. You begin to tell them that uh, I don't have husband. When your husband is there, it's a lie. You can't have encounter. Begin to do that. That I don't have a husband, it's only me. You want to get favor for them, but you are getting punishment from God. You can't have encounter, you will have such habits. It's not possible. You can't have encounter, you become a thief. You can't have encounter, you will become a thief, my friend. It's not possible. You can't have encounter, you will tell me you have encounter that uh, you can talk to the Holy Ghost, you can speak to and the Holy Ghost will not tell you to carry a bag and go to road walk in the evening. And after that, early in the, in the morning, you will come to one division and begin to sing. Hey, my friend is a liar. Hey, that is not Jesus. You didn't have encounter with Christ. You have encounter with Satan. You have encounter with Satan that you carry your bag and go to road work or more or Sunday morning if, or Saturday evening you go to work or Monday or Sunday morning you will come to church and carry a phone. Hey, my friend is the lie. You can't tell me you have encounter with Jesus. You put cookie in your mouth. You come to the church. You come and say cookie. Oh, my friend, you are having you have encounter with Satan, not not with Jesus, not with Jesus. You can't tell me you have encounter that you are holding somebody. You are collecting money. You are collecting money. You are working. You are collecting money. That uh, your house rent, you are you refuse to pay the owner of the house rent. My friend, you didn't have an encounter with Jesus. You are ha you have an encounter with Satan himself. That you are saying the money is supposed to be given to all. You open the church, and now the money is supposed to be paying your church in the church where you are. Now you are sending the money to build house in Nigeria. My friend, you say you are you are a pastor. Is a lie. Is that instead of ordain you to be a pastor, to be his own pastor, not Jesus himself? Is that that ordain you that have anointed you? You are among all those people that bring shame to God, and the time is coming that God is going to what is going to give you what belongs to you. He will give you back hand. The time is coming, but now there is a need for you to make a, for you to have an encounter with him, a pure encounter. Don't joke with it now. If you have not yet had encounter before, now is the time for you to have encounter. Friend, there is a need of having encounter. Now let somebody to deceive you. I never bargain of this to be telling you, to be telling you all these things. But the Lord is moving me toward to open your eyes to this having encounter. How can I have encounter with God? You can have encounter with God. When you have a genuine encounter, friend, you will not be deceived. You will not be deceived. You will not be deceived. 
every day by day, you will not be the same. Let's do all our best. Let's turn away from error. Let's swallow the truth. Let us not be deceived. Let us not allow people to make caricature with our soul. When you have a personal encounter, brother, your life cannot be deceived. It's God that will tell you to empty your wardrobe, that all the things you are having in your wardrobe, I don't want to see them in you. <laughs> that is a counter. You don't need the pastor to tell you that. It's a counter. Having a counter, Christ will begin to talk to you. The pastors who I want to be Christian today, they are the one knowing the best word, the best makeup, the best eyelashes, the best miracle, the best white pot. What, what can you please, can you remind me of those things you call them? You know, I don't know them. I don't know if anybody can remind me. All those nasty names, all those things you call them. Even though you, maybe you are here, you, 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 you were using it before, but now you are giving your life to Christ. You know them, you can help me to make sure them. Sister, are you not there? Are you telling me you didn't use it at all? You that are on, on, on Zoom? The sister that are on Zoom, are you saying you didn't use them? You don't know what is their name? What's that, sir? I said those nasty things they call whether I make up all those, what is their name? Okay, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Foundation. Mary Kay Foundation. Foundation, hair. Come on, hair. Concealer. Concealer, okay. Come on, hair. God bless you. You can see, you can, you, you can have a counter. <laughs> you can have a counter, and then you are a pastor while you are the one having the big boss. Right? You have not had the counter. I tell you, let us know there is a difference between having a counter and having what? Having a counter, having a counter with Christ and having a counter with Satan. This is something we must know. I pray that the Lord of heaven will help us in this serious journey. And if you don't have a counter, the, 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 the road, the walk, the road will be fair, it will be very tough for you. But when you have an encounter, even when you are passing through pain, brother, you will be happy. You will be smiling. You will be rejoicing because you are a child of God. <laughs> there will be a great joy, even though you don't have five euros in your house, but there will be joy. There will be a great joy inside you. There will be happiness inside you. There will be comfort inside you. That is when you have had a contact with Christ. That is why he said, I will take away the stony heart out of the flesh. When you have a contact, it will, it, it, will want, it will remove that stony heart. It will give you a new heart. When that new heart is there, brother and sister, your life cannot be the same. When other people are worried about, oh, my friend, <laughs> I, I, I could remember people, uh, one of my wonderful brother I love so much, the time ago, he went to, uh, he called me when I was in Nigeria. He said that he's in, he's in Nigeria, we, we met. And after that, as he arrived in my house, he said, brother, you need to go and show me that building. You need to go and show me that building you are showing us on Facebook. I want to really be, I want to see it raw. Then, we was driving, we was driving, we was driving. Then when we, when we reached the building, he said, brother, you are a man of God. There's a something that he said um, that, that, that I want to add, I want to draw, draw your attention to. What did he say? He said that uh, they went to, they were in the place where they was gossiping about me. Why, what was they saying? That they know, he knows a young man. This brother, I know him right from Nigeria. This brother has been in Europe for years. This brother has no house of his house. He don't have his whole house. But if you see mansion that is building for the poor, how come that he told the people that he's going to visit the place by himself to really see the beauty? Brothers and sisters, what am I trying to tell you? When you have a counter, but I'm not telling you having a house is not good, but when you have a counter, you will be seeking what can I do to bring what? To bring back those, the, the lost soul. That is what makes it to be a Christian.
I believe we close here. Any other question? Any other question? Please, if you have a question, you are free to ask. Now we close. Okay, if there is no any question, please go to Facebook and share the message and then go to YouTube and share the message, knowing that uh, Christ, oh, we serve, he loves you so much. That is why he allowed you to be here this evening. If you have not yet had a counter this night, you can join us in the night regime to pray of the need of having encounter. For Christ to encounter us the way he encountered what Saul. You know Saul was killing Christian. Saul, so what about the woman of Samaria was drawing water? Friend, what about my life? You know, I shared my life how I had an encounter with Christ. You can what? You can, you can take advantage of that and pray. Say, Lord, no, what you do to this brother, do it to me. You can make a prayer this night. Let's bow down our head as we pray right now. Let's bow down our head and tell the Lord the need of encounter. Oh, if you encounter the Lord, pastor cannot joke with your life. When the pastor is speaking jargons, you, you will get offended. Say, this pastor is a deceiver. There is a one pastor, I'm praying to God, God help me. Maybe one of these days as I'm traveling in that port, I meet with the pastor who will jump. I go look, I will look into the pastors as I will say, Pastor, the devil that enter you will judge you on that day. I'm, with, I'm praying to God one day, let me see that pastor. Let me see him face to face. That pastor, I'm praying that he use you, or juju. I will tell him that or juju that enter him, that or juju is going to work, that or juju center will use that or juju to rob his mouth. Friend, bow down and tell the Lord, I want to have an encounter like Saul. So was his, was killing Christians. He was not killing the wicked people. He was killing the Christians. That was his mission to wipe away Christianity until Christ encountered him. Heavenly Father, we are grateful this evening. We bow down our head for how you expand your word to us this evening. Lord, I never think that is going to go this way. Lord, but you make it possible. That we are grateful this evening. You have opened our eyes to see the truth of your world. Heavenly Father, righteous Daddy, immortal Father, we are asking you this evening to encounter us. Lord, look at your children. Lord, I have not had this a great encounter. Lord, you say no one draw except you draw. Lord, draw your children. Lord, open their eyes of understanding that they may understand your will. I pray, Father, that none of us will encounter Satan. Lord, we will not be like those people that say we have an encounter with Jesus, but Lord, if you save their life, they have a question mark in their journey, in their life, in their Christianity. They are so wicked. Lord, I pray we will not be like such people. Lord, help us to have a genuine encounter. Lord, we want to have an encounter with you. Lord, encounter us, Lord. Lord, I turn the heart of men and women hearing my voice. Make them to be like you. Only you can do it. I have no power. They have no power. Lord, take absolute control over their life. Have your way that at the end of this journey, none of us, Father, will go to hell. Immortal Father, we are praying, O oh Lord, that you will make your grace available for us, that we may be able to do your will, Lord. Thank you this evening. So your children have taken their time to follow this program. I say bless them, protect them, deliver them, save them from the hands of the evil one. Let no evil arrow penetrate them. Let none of evil things go with them. 
Lord, any man or woman I had opportunity to hear our voice that want to rise up against us. Father, let your fire consume them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take absolute control, Father. That at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Lord. Amen. God bless you, beloved brothers and sisters. We meet by 12 midnight today. Bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you.